you guys we are back in the saddle i was off for i've been off for four days took off thursday and friday last week it is july 29th today and we are headed to easton maryland to install a couple of duck smoke detectors so we installed a unit at a local restaurant there a five ton unit and it did not come with duck smokes and we're going to put them in so in our area and i think most areas if a system is over five tons or 200 2000 cfm it needs to be protected by a duck smoke detector system so that's what we're going to do we got two duck smokes a couple sampling tubes we're going to put on this guy uh, we really only need one hole device and then we're going to be using the sensor off the other one because you can you can twin two sensors off one duck smoke i'm going to show you guys how to do that we're gonna get it put in. This is a York Predator unit. Um, you can get them uh, pre-installed to have duck smokes. This one, I guess, did not come with it. We're gonna to check to see if any of the wiring's there to do it. I don't think it's going to be, but basically all we're gonna be doing is uh, powering it with R and C, and then we're gonna be breaking R, going to the thermostat in the case of a duck uh, smoke situation. All right, so we got about a 20 minute ride or so ahead of us. Let's, uh, let's buckle up, let's get going. Just getting up here now. Wow, that's a big unit. This must be the common areas or something. A lot of small suites here. This is a big unit though. I believe this is our guy right here. Yep, 24. Must be our unit. All right, so this is our supply side here. Like I said, I was hoping this came pre-wired. Now we'll check the other side to make sure, but typically this plug here is for the duct smoke and we will figure out a place to mount it here. On this side, and then we're gonna pop this cover off here uh, for our return side. Now our whole duct smoke will go here and then our sensor should go over here for the supply. Let's open this, actually this guy up. Everything's so new here. All right guys, I do have wiring here, which I can repurpose. This would be used if the unit was originally installed with a duct smoke. Now, all this is, is this wire just comes over to here and that's it. It's not connected anywhere else. And I wanted to confirm that by ohming it out. So <clears throat> I loop my two yellows together, which are gonna be my sensor wires. And I just went over here and just confirm continuity. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the black and red just to make sure they, they match up. Although I really only need power on this side because like I said before, the other one, the other one is just gonna be a sensor. Um, so I'll only really need to hook that up to YY right there, I believe. Um, I'm gonna double check and just to make sure I might need to hook up all three I'll have to see but uh, But yeah, so it's gonna be as easy as that. So I'll probably just just cut the um, 
the watt the harness off the plug off and then just repurpose it over there so yeah and this uh, would be for an economizer which we don't have but we're gonna get this thing figured out guys so yeah guys if we look here in the directions if we're hooking a secondary sensor up that's all we need to hook up is yy and rb so like i said we'll just repurpose that plug for that easy peasy we'll remove this portion of it off and then uh, we'll just have this portion left. Shouldn't be that bad at all. My only concern now is mounting these things because I don't have mounting brackets with them. So we're gonna have to get creative in how we're gonna, we're gonna mount this thing, even if it's temporary to get our inspection to pass. We'll get these things mounted and come back with the proper brackets later. I'm not a duct fabricator and I don't have any much metal on me. I might be able to come up with some metal to make a bracket if I have to. So, but let's get it wired up right now so we make sure uh, that's done because wiring probably is going to be the hardest part. All right, guys. Not the best idea, but it at least works. I took and cut a couple pieces of metal to make brackets so I could mount this here. I mean, it works. If we if we need to come back with the proper brackets later, we will. Um, I took just the sensor off, so we're going to wire it inside here and then put the cover back on. Um, and then we'll just have a sensor right here, bam. Um, yeah, we're going to bring this wire inside of here some kind of way. Hopefully I got enough here, but um, that is the plan. So this one's mounted, and then we'll get the other one mounted and, uh, and then start wiring. All right, guys, same deal over on this side. I bent a couple brackets up brackets and then just mounted it to the wall of the unit here and I already got my sensor wires on the other side connected here so now I need to run a thermostat wire inside here for power and then to break R on a smoke signal so we're gonna read the directions and see exactly where we have to hook up our power and our switch at all right, guys, we are not supervised by a fire panel here, so we don't have to do a whole bunch of fancy wiring, but you'll see here, nine and 10 are our 24 volt power input. And then our auxiliary contacts for fan shutdown, which we're gonna be using it for the whole unit shutdown, is our common is six, and our normally closed is 16. So that means if we have a shutdown, six and 16 will break and then six and 17 will make so we want our shutdown between six and 16 just like a light switch if we have a smoke call we want to turn off the light switch so the smoke call will turn off the light switch which will turn off power between 16 and 6. that's all we have to worry about with this one we're powering 9 and 10 with 24 volt and common and then our transformer wire is going to come to 16 or or six it'll come to six and then we will go back on 16. easy enough so looking at our smoke here so our power is going to come in here on nine and ten and then 16 and six is going to be our switch right here all right let me show you guys this side of the wiring here so coming off directly off our transformer we are powering our duct smoke and we are also going to one side of the switch which in this case is six common and then this one right here is our 24 volt power to the rest of the unit but also the other side of our switch which is normally closed, 16. And then this one right here is just our common. So it's pretty much as easy as that, guys. Four wires, and um, we can shut this unit down in the event of smoke. All right, it's just some really um, housekeeping stuff at this point. Oh, I still have to connect the sensor wires over here, um, but yeah. It's about as easy as that. I'm going to land everything else 
and um, we're gonna start it up and make sure this thing works. All right, we got this wired. Another thing I forgot to mention is I had to put the sampling tube on and I am gonna have to get some sort of brackets for this because this just isn't gonna cut it over time. Um, I have it supported right now, but um, like I said, this should, this should pass our inspection. Uh, him knowing we have the brackets or the duct smokes in place, but I just don't like this. This isn't gonna hold up. So we'll get some proper brackets and stuff like that to hold it um, because there is also another bracket that it should be tied to further down. But either way, this sampling tube, um, this is just an exhaust, but this is your actual sampling tube and it's got holes in it. And your holes should be in line with the airstream. So my air is coming this way. So that's what side my holes are on. Now, the sampling tubes you get are very long. Now that one I could use the whole thing, but this one here, I'm not gonna be able to use the whole thing. So I'm gonna have to cut this down uh, to work. So we are going to get a measurement here and then just go ahead and cut this thing down. All right, and we also wanna come in here and turn this middle dip switch from one to two to let this duck smoke know we have two sensors here, not just the one. All right, I just turned the unit on. Uh, I'm gonna make sure everything's set up right before I put the cover back on here. Um, I'm gonna need to get some zip ties because I had to cut a bunch of zip ties too. But, uh, but yeah, we're in a delayed startup right now. But we should be good. We're just gonna start cleaning stuff up while it's in its startup delay. I think the reset button is also the test button. So we're gonna go ahead and press it. And yeah, our display shut down. Perfect. So we'll release it. And then press our reset again. And then our unit should be coming back on momentarily. All right, so we know it works. Good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start putting covers back on and get some zip ties and clean some stuff. You up. guys, don't get me wrong. Those duck smokes can get very, very complicated when it comes to hooking them up. If you have to hook them in with a fire panel, uh, key switch, um, other auxiliary contacts that need to shut down or open, they can get very difficult. But on this one, it was a very basic shutdown. We don't have a key switch which we might need to later because I think sometimes the, the fire marshal wants a key switch down um, downstairs. But with this one, we don't need it right now. All we need to do is shut the unit down in the event of smoke. And that's all we're doing. We're just killing the transformer. That's it. So uh, hopefully somebody found this useful. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe below, guys. I'm going to try to uh, post at least four or five videos this week. Um, where I didn't post very much last week. So uh, keep an eye out for all that. I do have another uh, thermal camera coming in. It kind of actually connects to your phone. So I actually might review that and then give it away. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. So catch you on the next one.